and do it again. Leave that written down. Don't erase nothing. Right? In a real science laboratory, you're really not supposed to have pencils anywhere. It's all pens. And when you do something like this and you know that it's wrong, you draw a single line through it, initial it. A lot of times your supervisor has to initial it too. And that way if you ever have to go to court, you've not lied. You just realize something went the matter. All right, you don't ever go and try to adjust this to look like that because you think it's the right thing to do. That's unethical. All right. Go to prison for stuff like that. All right. How are we doing? Now, what would happen if you have a situation where it is not within point 0.9? Okay. Now, an example of that is... 31F. 31F. And I'll work this one with you. Is the mic better now, Bridget? Okay, sorry about that. 31F. Alright, so here we are in chapter 7, 31F. Seventy two point zero two per cent manganese, twenty seven point nine eight per cent oxygen, thirty one F. Okay. All right, well, oxygen weighs sixteen. All right, how much does manganese weigh? 50 what? All right, so that's 55 grams for manganese for one mole of manganese. Okay, so 27.98. 1 1.749. Okay, what do I need to do here, guys? Divide by the smallest, which is 1.309. That, of course, equals 1. 1.309. One 1.33. Is that within a tenth of a whole number? All right, so this is no good, right? I mean, do you see how this is no good? Take a look at it. Right now, we're set up manganese 1 and an oxygen 1.3. Now, who's ever heard of an oxygen 1.3, right? You can't have a half of an oxygen. You either have one or you don't, right? You have one, you have two, you have three. Not 1.3. You just can't shave off some oxygen. Okay, so what do you have to do? Well, you have to start picking integers to multiply by like here, if we pick 2, what's that going to give us? 2.66. Is that within a tenth of a whole number? No. Okay. That was a bad guess. What if you pick 3? It's going to be 3.99. Is that within a tenth of a whole number? Yes. So now we are at liberty to call it. Now, just like algebra in these trig class you're talking about, if you do it here, what do you got to do up here? You got to do it here too, right? So what's our final answer? MN, how many do we have? 3, O, 4. Now, if Sandy made this compound, would it be of, of interest to, let's say, a freshman audience? All right. What charge has that manganese got? Do not miscon misconstrue this for the official Lewis dot structure. I'm just drawing a pictorial example. Okay. What charge does oxygen have in most of its compounds? Negative what? Negative 2. I love it. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. 
So what charge does all three of these manganese have to have to counteract it? Positive what? Positive A. Because remember, this whole thing must add up to be what? Zero. Zero. Right? There ain't no charge up in there. Okay, so what charge has to be on each manganese? 